In today's video, I am going to explain a problem from functions of complex variables. So, in this video, we have to find the imaginary part whose real part is given as e power x into x cos y minus y sin y. So, here in the solution, what is given? The real part is given. So, the real part is represented by u. u is equal to e power x into this is x cos y minus this is y into sin y. Now, we have to find out the imaginary part. So, for finding the imaginary part first, I am going to make a derivative with respect to x. So, the derivative with respect to x is nothing but dou u by dou x. So, here there is first function, it is second function. This is uv rule. So, this is first function and this is second function. First, I am going to make a derivative. e power x is e power x. I am leaving the second function as x cos y minus y sin y. And again, I am leaving the first function and with respect to x, x is 1. So, the value here is cos y. So, this is with respect to x derivative. And again, I have to make a derivative with respect to y. So, that is dou u by dou y is equal to, see here, dou u by dou y is equal to, so here e power x, I am writing, there is cos y here. In place of cos y, the derivative here is minus a sign y. That is x minus x sin y and this is uv rule for y this is 1 so 1 into sin y and again y I have to read for sin y the value here is cos y so this is with respect to x and with respect to y and see here so in order to find the imaginary part so we have to find the imaginary part so if u is the real part v will be the imaginary part and how to find the imaginary part so i am using this milnes thompson method according to the milnes thompson method according to the milnes thompson method we have f of z is equal to see here as you know that f of z is equal to u plus i into v if i make a derivative with respect to x that is f dash of z with respect to x, this is dou u by dou x plus i times of this is dou v by dou x. Now, I am going to use the CR equations. So, according to the CR equations, Cauchy-Riemann equations, according to the CR equations, we have dou u by dou x is equal to this is dou v by dou y and dou u by dou y is equal to this is minus dou v by dou x. See here, we have only the real part is given in the question. So, we have to transform this imaginary part into real part. So, in place of dou v by dou x, I am writing minus dou u by dou x using CR equations. So, these are CR equations. So, this can be transformed as f dash of z is equal to, see here, f dash of z is equal to, this is dou u by dou x. The real part is given. In place of dou v by dou x, I am writing minus this is dou u by dou y. Already there is minus here. So, now I am going to substitute dou u by dou x value and dou u by dou y value from equations 1 and 2. See here, this will become f dash of z is equal to. Then f dash of z value is equal to. What is dou u by dou x? See here, this whole thing is dou u by dou x. If I take e power x common and write, this will be e power x. This is x cos y minus y sin y plus this is uh, cos y cos y see here this is dou u by dou x minus i times of now dou u by dou y so see here dou u by dou y value is also ready so this is also e power x times of minus x sin y minus sin y minus this is y cos y so, after substituting dou u by dou x value and dou v by dou y value and according to the Milnes thompson method, we have to replace. See here, we have to replace x by z and y by 0. So, in place of x, I have to substitute z and in place of y, I have to keep 0. So, f dash of z becomes. So, this value is e power z times of this is z. Cos 0 value is 1 sin 0 value is 0 and again cos 0 value is 1 minus i times of see here this is e power z into sin 0 value is 0 0 value sin 0 value is 0 and again 0 so this value is 0 and what remind here f dash of z is equal to e power z into this is z plus 1 so here 
now we have to write f dash of z is equal to c here f dash of z is nothing but e power z into this is z plus 1 now if i integrate on both sides so if i take an integration see what happens f dash of z becomes f dash of z dz is equal to integral e power z into this is z plus 1 into dz now according to our uh, formulae that is integral e power x into f of x plus f dash of x into dx value is nothing but e power x into f of x plus c so this is the formula i am going to use now see here this is e power z this is f of x the derivative of z is again 1 1 into dx so this can be written as integral f dash of z is nothing but f of z so i am using this formula e power x into f of x this is e power x here e power z into z plus a c see now we have as you know that z is equal to as you know that x plus i y z value is nothing but x plus i y therefore f of x plus i y is equal to this is e power this is x plus i y into this is x plus i y plus c and f of see here f of x plus i y value is equal to this can be written as x plus i y into e power x into e power i y so f of x plus i y is equal to this is x plus i y into this is e power x into this can be written as cos y plus i sin y now if i multiply here if i take e power x common and multiply this will be x cos y and again plus x i this is a sin y if i multiply this is i y cos y i into i i square this is minus y sin y y sin y now see here the real part here is x cos y and y sin y and the imaginary part here so containing i so this is imaginary part now i am going to split this one that is f of x plus i y is equal to if i take e power x common and write this is x cos y x cos y minus y sin y and if i take i common again e power x times of this is x sin y plus this is y cos y so this is of the form see here this is of the form u plus iv so z so f is equal to u plus iv so the real part here is see the real part u is equal to this is e power x into this is x cos y minus this is y sin y and now the imaginary part here is now the imaginary part v is equal to this is e power x times of this is x sin y plus this is y cos y and see the real part u from the question v we got and f of z is equal to now see f of z value is equal to the function analytic function f of z is equal to z into e power z plus c so this is z into e power z plus c so this is how we can obtain all the three values real value imaginary value and the analytic function using mill sums and method what is given the real imaginary part is given and it was asked to show that the real part is e power x is e power x into x cos y minus y sin y. See here, real part is equal to e power x into x cos y minus y sin y. So, again we have to find out the imaginary part. So, imaginary part is equal to e power x into x sin y plus y cos y. And this is analytic function. See, first we have to make a derivative with respect to x with respect to y. And using Milne's Thompson method, we have f of z is equal to u plus iv. If I make a derivative throughout with respect to x. And if I change this imaginary part into real part using the CR equations in place of dou v by dou x as minus dou u by dou y. See here, all the two values are ready here. So, we have to 
write all the two values from equations and again using Milne's Thomson method we have to replace x by z and y by 0 and this is the answer and again if I integrate on both sides we got the analytic function so this is nothing but the analytic function f of z is equal to z into e power z plus c and see we have z is equal to x plus i y so if I substitute this one and split so this is the real part and this is the imaginary part therefore the u real part is e power x into x cos y minus y sin y the imaginary part is e power x into x sin y plus y cos y and this is our analytic function thank you so much for watching and please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel please practice definitely you can score more